I, when I bought this, this GDX, Bosch 18 volt GDX, I bought an impact bit rather than one of these just standard bits. This is a Milwaukee, there was a box of them, they're only about a fiver. But I knew I'd need an impact driver for this. But, to get it to lock, you have to pull this collar back and it don't fit. Because of this collar on it, this shoulder on it, it doesn't go deep enough to lock in. I've just been trying <laughs> every bit I've got to see what the difference is. These ones without a collar. See that locks, that locks right down. So they stay in. But this one doesn't. These were bits that I like. Got a really good magnet on them. Sometimes too strong, but they've got a really good magnet on them. Same again. This collar stops the stops that part. See, it doesn't lock all the way down. Look. So they come out. When I was doing my dad's fence the other day, this fell behind the fence, which I thought, oh, that's shit. So I was just shopping online. And where I do one, an impactor driver, an impact bit, you know, like one of these, it's a bit fatter than this. But same again, it's got a collar, so I thought, oh, I'll try my wearer bits, because they're probably this similar manufacturer, made in a similar way. Where's the other one gone? There. None of them fit, and just out of curiosity, I've tried every other bit I've got. I'm not going to be using these, of course, in here, but they don't fit because they've got that shoulder. This is a, a generic shit one, it's got a shit magnet on it, hardly works at all. That don't fit. This is a Stanley one, it's not bad. Keep in my pocket because these ones are stubby. It's a little bit longer, but that don't fit. These obviously fit. See, they lock in nicely. Same with that. And obviously, you know a bit, but it's nice to have a magnet holder sometimes. So that fits. I won't be using these, like I say, like that one. That don't fit. So I'm glad I didn't fork out for the 15, 16 pound or whatever for the wear a bit. Because it's got that shoulder on it. Problem is now, what do I do? These are hardened bits. I tried running a file around that edge. I couldn't get anything off it. The file hardly touched it at all. So what do I do? Do I keep looking? Don't know. I haven't got a solution yet. If anybody knows of a an impact bit that hasn't got such a short collar on it, shoulder on it, it'd be good to know. Because that's going to piss me off. These bits. If I measure that, that is it's close to 25 mil. If I put, say this one, so even that one don't lock completely. This is an impact bit that I bought at the same time as I bought that. See that fits in there nicely, a little bit of room in there. But that needs to come out to pretty much. There's a slight slope on the edge of this. And that measures just just like 26, 26 mil. 
So I only need like a millimetre or two. Like I say, I ran a file around there and it didn't touch it. Might get angle grind on it. And then I've cut a bit deep on there, I think I've trashed it. Get that bit off. Fingernails. Well, that spoiled this bit completely. I think I cut a bit of a, a bit of a shoulder on it there. Let's see if it fits now though. Yeah. See how long it lasts. But I only took yeah you know, about two millimetres off it. We'll see if it snaps where I've overcut it. Don't know if you can see. I've gone in just by a millimetre or so. So that bit's 6.3, 5.8, so 0.5, so half a millimetre. Let's see how long it lasts. See if it breaks off at that point where I overcut it. So I'll just buy another. Take a bit more care when I grind it down. Right, well that was the other day. Not happy that I'd I'd overcut that. I went online again and I thought <laughs> why not I just look at a Bosch bit? Which I did. I found one on eBay. It's about eight quid I think. And I noticed on the picture this looked longer. Okay, it's quite a bit longer. So of course that fits in perfectly. But just today, that turned up yesterday. That was qu that delivered quite quickly. But today I was in Screwfix, and this was in on offer. And just out of curiosity, I got my drill out the van. See what their bit fits like. You see their bit. If I offer it up. See, that's a little bit longer. I had this one in my pocket. But I got my drill out anyway. So that's a little bit longer. That fits in there. 
I don't know if this one is an impact bit or just a standard bit, it doesn't say. But even that one fits in. So that's good. So we've got a good bit. That can live in there. And this one, just out of curiosity. Just out of curiosity, I might continue using it and just see if I can use it to destruction or whether it's whether it's a fix or not. Guess we'll see. I already use Bosch impact bits, but most of my you know bits are regular, just standard bits. I need impact bits for these. I don't know why I didn't look for this online in the first place, but 